Morning guys, uh, Jerry O'Neill here, um, we'll castle decorating. So this morning I'm decorating this room here and I'm going to do a short video on cross lining um, a feature wall. <clears throat> so this wall uh, had wallpaper on it which I stripped, uh, I've got the wall prepared and filled and sanded. I have the ceiling done and the walls have to get done, they're getting done on a fire on ball colour and the woodwork's getting done on white satin. So I'm at the stage now where I want to get this wall cross lined and when the wall's cross lined then I'll finish the walls, I'll finish the woodwork, then there's a, a lower icy wallpaper going on to this feature wall, which I'll do a video on hanging some of our IC paper as well. So I'll just turn the, the video around here a wee second and let you see what I had to do to this wall here. So as you can see there, the preparation, you know, there was a bit on this wall. When the paper come off, again, i have done a video on paint coming off walls, you know, bubbles out and stuff. So basically what i have done was when I stripped it, let the wall dry off, uh, scraped all of this paint away as you can see so uh, as you can see where the edge is here so after I scraped all the paint away I give the wall the sand and I fill the edge here uh, Laura I see highly recommend the cross lane walls I would cross lane walls 99% of the time anyway you know far better job you get a smoother finish and there's less chance of joints opening up as well you know and the reason why it's cross lined is, you know, your finished paper goes vertical and your laying of paper goes across the wall. And again, two things, the joint doesn't meet with the laying of paper, for starters, and there is less chance of shrinkage whenever your finished paper goes on. Also, again, you get a smooth finish and it is a good surface to put your finished paper on. So as you can see, this wall's all been filled sanded and ready. The only thing I need to do with this is I need to size it. You can see it's really, really dry. There's a lot of filler on it. So under, if you're ever doing hanging wall paper or laying paper, if the wall's really dry, you know, you can't, you can get, you can pass sealer, uh, sensor, have a good one. Uh, I just use a, a thin paste. That's all that's needed, to be honest. And let it dry and then put your line and paper on, you know. So the fitting way I'm just doing at the minute is just show, going to show you how to measure up uh, the sheets. And um, whenever I get that all ready, I'll do another fitting one actually hanging the line and paper. So I'll try and keep it as simple as possible. Okay, so uh, as I say, it's only a feature wall here. And um, I'm using 1200 grade for me it's in between you know I, I always use 1200 always found a thousand was too thin the 1200 is just right for me anyway you know um i've measured it it needs four and a half strips four and a, a small bit um so if you're going to measure if you want to work, work out how to measure the strips basically get your line of paper the top which run them across here and just mark a line there so where's one Two. Okay, three, four. So it needs four strips. Uh, secondly, your first strip, um, I'm going to run, run it along the corners here. I put my, should be here somewhere, yeah. So I have a spot level here and I checked it along the corners there. The, it's one of those plastered cornices, it's perfectly straight. So I'm going to run the line of paper along that edge, which works out a lot easier. If the ceiling's running off, you do have to strike a line uh, for your first strip. Make sure your paper's straight. Um, but that's straightforward to do as well. Okay. So, four strips is what we need. Um, how you measure it? Obviously, measuring tape. Okay, and um, basically just from corner to corner, 
I mess with it. Okay. So that's 140 ounces in there. Okay, so um, I'll lay a couple of inches at each side for, for trimming. So it's 140, so I do it 144 inches. Okay, four strips. And basically, I'll just turn this around here, like so, and show you what we need here. So, whenever you're hanging paper, basically, what you need is pencil. Stanley knife for trimming, straight edge, and a spatula. This is for your paper, of course. And of course, you need scissors as well. So, and a spare set of blades. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'll, go, I'll match with these strips, so I'm going to do four strips, right? So basically what I've shown you is, uh, you know, the preparation wall has to be prepared. No point, as I've always said, as preparation is the key. Uh, so four strips, uh, and then I'll do another video when I'm actually hanging it. So I'll just put this down here under the table, like so. So, um, so, with two rows here, two rows you do it okay. Um, open your paper. You also have a wee bit of tape here, just take that off. So on this table here, um, from the top of the table, I have I always have a marker here at 70 inches. Now this is the way I do it. Okay, everybody's different. Everybody does it different way. So um, basically, the measurement is 140 inches. So basically, what I do is it's 70, 70s, 140, and add four inches. Be straightforward. Your linen paper. A lot of guys do it that way, right? Turns up on you. Measure it this way for me. Better, it's easier. Put your straight edge to the top of the table. Okay. Like so. And add your mark bar. I believe you mark on the table at 70 inches. Just give it a wee crease. I'll bring that back up to the top of the table. Another wee crease here. So that's 140. Um, just your measuring tape here and add four inches there. Basically, that's your first sheet measure. Bring it back to the top. Okay. So the top is level it with the first sheet and just bring it follow it through with your first one. Okay.
second loop. so that maybe the lens sheet doesn't slip away from the second one, you know, just keep it all together. So there's four strips on the table, 144 inches in length, and basically ready to paste and go on the wall. Now the only thing I have to do here is uh, size the wall, and basically um, it's pretty straightforward, you know. Uh, just cut it in with a brush, as if you're painting, just cut uh, with, with a paste and roll it, and let it dry. And it's ready to go. So, um, there we go. So that's this wall ready. And what I'll do is, um, I've had all ready here to go. I'm going to size this wall here. After I do that, I'll do another video on hanging a few strips and give you an idea on how to do that. So, again, thanks very much for watching. If anybody has any questions on the, on how to go about preparing the wall, uh, doing the measurements for the lining paper, uh, what tools you need, again, what I showed you, but if you're not sure, again, you can by all means ask any questions. Okay, thanks for watching.